here we will create a one uh, automation project and here i'm choosing the agent version which is installed in my local machine here i'm going to directly create an automation so that uh, i have given all the required fields by default guys uh, we don't need to add any sdks for this excel by, because by default uh, with this automation or with this tool you will be getting a core sdk as well as the excel sdk uh, rest of the sdks like microsoft outlook or uh, microsoft 365 sdks that we have to configure manually for this we don't need to man uh, add anything the sdks is not needed so that uh, we will be able to create a direct automation here before that i will prepare the excel data we need a excel data with uh, some of the columns and rows order number order amount order date shipping country delivery date yeah okay guys this is the excel data i have prepared already for this we have here order number order amount order date shipping country delivery date and the order status okay next to this what we are going to do we are going to add a process in automation uh, so it's set of functionalities such as uh, create new excel workbook uh, create new work select sheet these are the components that will be available in the automation so that we are going to use uh, so that we are going to use those components by adding it in an automation then once these are done then we are going to read and write the data from an excel sheet for the given date range and after that we are going to apply a filter on a column to perform certain activities and these are all the steps in this automation process the excel automation is very important guys you have to know about this because in a real time you will get a requirement to copy the excel data to another excel or to create automation with an excel data most of the automations will be comes based on the excel only so that i have chosen this scenario first what we will do yeah here we will open uh, we will add open excel instance okay here the open excel instance is added after to that this will this component of this parameter what we'll do it will open a excel that where we are given given that um, path right it will directly open the excel instance next to this similarly locate yeah i will actually uh, I will open one of the blog. I have referred that blog only. I will give you the blog. It's not allowing to create a. Who's this research management? Who is server plus four, guys? Who is that? Oh, that's mine. I was trying to delete it, but then it was not able to. 
Okay. Have you taken the backup of this? Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay, you have taken the backup, right? right. Uh, no problem. I will delete. Okay. Yeah, Tamil, I have deleted it. Okay, one of the yeah. Now we can create yeah, the nice. from this guys. We are going to create a new automation project and uh, pro uh, providing an relevant automation such as Excel link. Then you are going to activate the desktop agent. By default, Excel and Core SDK will be added. That we will see where you can find that whatever the SDKs has been added in your project. If you go to this setting, if you go to the dependency, see, by default, these dependencies will be added. We no need to add anything by uh choosing or installing a more sdks here by default it will be added if you want to add more the sdks like outlook sdk or the microsoft 365 sdk then you can add a business process project dependency here if anything is added like sap ufa sdk or web sdk you need to add it for this pro for the for this particular project then you can add a dependency and the version of that it will take from the installation version this is how you have to add a dependencies here this one thing you have to know uh, while adding the dependencies and yesterday we have seen the environment variables how to create environment variables that we have seen yesterday and apart from this in the settings you know that how to choose a agent versions and all right that will be you can you can able to do that that's not an issue mm, the attributes yeah if you are creating attributes in the where you have to create in a control tower based on your uh, bot or then the agent management screen where you create any attributes that you can use these attributes but ideally is that it will be used only for the identification or the flag purpose only uh, right now we don't we are not going to use full fledged in the project that will be not uh, useful if uh, more than a 10 or 20 people are working in this project uh, they want to do some of the activities and don't want to confuse with the what are the bots that has been installed with their machine so that ideally these attributes will be helpful for that and in a general settings is no no nothing is more there here you can just share with the, the administrator that's fine and if you want to translate some of the project that you can do here these are all the major things in the settings yeah then we will go with the next step yeah they are just they are adding an excel cloud link ideally we need a cloud link here guys uh, now we edit the properties of the cloud link activity in the flowchart select the excel cloud link activity on the right hand side choose the edit activity button once this is done when the when the edit activity screen you can either use the file picker or dog and drop your talking test excel as you can see with the excel cloud link capabilities it's already pre-selects the first sheet it groups data by column names it also finds out in few seconds to the complete range of excel okay once this is done while excel cloud link is great in processing the data it still needs for runtime reference the path of your excel typically you need to okay we need to select the paths under the workbook path
okay we will go step by step is you are following or uh, anyone can share your screen i can guide you tamil you are doing that first you create a automation project you have prepared your excel right yeah okay fine where do you get this data uh, from the cfa uh, okay okay fine here add automation name it as uh, excel sdk automation something once this automation is added go to the settings and check whether the um excel automation is added by default in the dependencies yeah here you could see the excel sdk is automatically added so that we no need to add them okay fine was it and uh, can you search in that uh, search icon excel cloudly uh, sorry not excel open excel instance yeah mm, click on that or drag and drop it to next to the start here yeah. yeah and uh, next to this add the excel cloud link The Excel Cloud Link component is Excel Cloud Link. Yeah. Okay. Keep, now click on the Excel Cloud Link. Okay. Go to Edit Activity. Here. Here you could see the Edit Activity button, right? Added activity, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, what you do? Yeah. Now click on the browse. There is a two screens, right? In a Excel file, there is a browse with the cloud icon. Upper arrow is there, right? Scroll down. Just sorry, move the cursor a little bit down. Cursor. There is a browse with highlighted blue color. Not here. The next in left side screen. In a left side screen. Oh, yeah. Click on that. Choose that Excel. Hmm. Okay. Once you choose this, you will be able to getting all the um, data. The no, sales sales order dot Excel worksheet is sheet one. Okay, fine. What you have to do next here, Tamil, uh, you have to add a work path. Okay. Click on that work path. The next piece. I think it's interesting, right? Copy the uh, path from your Windows folder. Where you have stored here. Path should be in the top of the file, right? Yeah, with the file name. With the file name, yes. Yeah, okay. Exactly. You have added it, okay. Once that has been done, Okay, now click on that uh, from Excel data. There is a blue color icon. Yes, click on that from Excel data. Here we are going to create a data type for our Excel. Okay, once you just give sales order data, oh, sales orders, sorry, sales orders. Okay, click on create. Yeah, the sales orders. This is a data type which will be automatically created. Okay. 
fine now go to the before tab that excel automation tab yes yeah if you click on the if you if you see here um in the there is a two screens right one is design parameter and the another one is a sales order now uh, one is a excel file another one is sales order right when you click on that uh, sales order screen can you click on that sales yes are you able to click not yet ah, yeah, i click on that okay here the output value should be the sales sales orders what you have given that uh, data type name right that you have to give in a output parameter. Go to the output parameter in the right, right hand side. Under the yeah, click on this. Click to delete it. Return the values. Delete it. Sales space only. space. Okay, space only. We have given right. Yes, yeah, space yeah. orders. Mm -hmm. okay okay yeah what is showing what was the error can you go over to that value state here huh. mm, cannot contain space okay i think the space has to be removed okay no problem what you do go to overview to me here yeah, rename it not able to rename it huh? uh, okay here you can rename it mm. Mm, save now go to excel automation now give that to sales underscore orders no error right yeah now click on save okay it's saved okay fine for each loop now what you do add a for each loop next to that excel cloud link what why we are adding a for each loop here is uh, to printing a output parameters yes i think you can close this uh, you can just deselect that excel cloud link these screens will be uh, disappear yeah no no you have changed that name tamil oh, yeah. excel excel cloud link okay now uh, here search for for each loop hmm. add it below it okay now click on that for each loop hmm. now um, select that uh, sales underscore orders yes here okay Once this for loop is done, if you are using this data provided with order number, you can print the order number. Okay. To log the messages, what you have to do, we have to do uh, add one more component and in the for loop. Okay. No, no, no. no. Don't, don't uh, rename it. Yeah. Click on that here. Uh, search for log message. Add it inside the for loop. Okay. Select that log message and change it. Hmm. 
the step name to log order number log order number yeah. under messages input parameter yeah open the expression editor icon there is a exp expression editor icon right yes yeah. here what they are giving order number is okay i will ping you in a chat okay you can take it there First, you have to paste this order number is then select okay then select current member then select the current member yes mm. no no just select it mm. the first one oh. yes current member greater than yeah. order number hmm. okay it again taking one minute i mean one minute Sorry, I'm not able to hear you. So the order number uh, hmm? checking the with the bread uh, operator. Hmm. Yeah, but it's uh, greater than the current member. Okay. Current member is a sales order. Uh, here are the sales orders, order number. Okay. Wait a minute. Actually, what you have to do at the first step itself, you have to select. Uh, can you go there, Tamil? Yeah. Yeah. Clear cans. Uh, yeah. First, op uh, first open this. No, no, no. This only in the log number only. Okay. You click that. Open the editor. Hmm. Now paste that order number that which I have given right. Okay, here. Ah. Okay, now once the order number is paste, it should show some suggestions here. Yeah, here I can see some of the use. Yeah, tip three dot. Yeah, select that. Hmm. Sort of order now order amount huh? no you yeah, can send the order, order number. yeah order number so yes yeah, look good fine okay now you have missed that plus in between that the plus should be yes okay fine now save this expression what we are doing order number is we are just uh, um, printing that message okay order number is current member dot order number we are taking and print logging this message that's it okay yeah. okay okay now what you do 
add a close Excel instance. One more uh, component. Can you check is that added correctly? Under the for each one, it has been added right before to the end. Yeah. Mm. Okay, then it's fine. Yeah. Okay, now save this. Mm. <coughs> now test the automation. What is the error? It's saying. Okay, I'm going to close it. It does not exist on the cache. Okay, it's uh, taking the whole length uh, of No, it's referring the whole part, right? Yeah. Okay, can you go to that Excel, click on the cloud link, Excel cloud link? How you have taken the parts, Tamil? Can you show me that one? Yeah, so from here, mm -hmm. the right click, get the properties, and here under security, you can get that uh, whole part. Um, but, oh. but here it's a uh, simple part only. Mm. Uh, okay, now what you do, go, go to the general tab. Mm. Here you could see that path, right? You just copy this path and go to the that uh, Excel Cloud Link component. Hmm. Now open the edit activity. Hmm. Here, what you, you open that editor? Yeah, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Open it. There is a and next to that. Uh, Next to the input field, the pen sim pen icon is there, right? Edit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Click on that. Yeah. Uh, before that, you see there is some you the delete that. Yeah. Uh, delete. No, no, don't delete the. So you have it. Yes, yes. Uh. Okay. Add as double quotes. Okay. Now save this expression. Now save this project. Okay, test it. Hmm. Okay. Now the order number is printed. Yeah. You could see, right? Yeah, order yeah. number is what are the order number that we are given. Everything is printed. Okay, fine. Now we are going to process the Excel data. Okay, for that, now what we what we have to do? Uh, you have to create another one automation here. Okay, go to overview. Create another automation. Name it as uh, process Excel data or anything as per your wish. Okay, what you do here, add a open Excel instance component. Search for open Excel instance. Hmm. Okay.
okay what you do we have to create a two string variables okay to process this excel data once this open and excel instance is added you need to create two string variables for that uh, search for string in that uh, tools so come Yeah, here, the, yes. Below to that Excel instance. Add it. So, by using this, uh, the old uh, first automation itself, uh, can, we can process the data. Uh, just we are doing a log uh, in the first right just we are adding the uh, what uh, path to the excel and the cloud link we are logging the message in the automation yeah there also we can able to add it not that's not a problem okay, okay so we don't have the mandatory i mean the necessity to go to go to your yeah, other automation but uh, mm -hmm. scenario based uh, just yeah, going. actually, we just were separating the Excel automation and the process data. Better to add, no. uh, yeah. If you add it, uh, yeah, another automation while debugging, if you are in any, if you have any error, you could be able to fix it easily. So, yeah, the perspective of the accessibility so that we are uh, adding it in a new automation. Okay. Add one more uh, string, I mean, two strings. Yes. Okay. Okay. What you do, select that first string and name it as create workbook path. Create workbook path variable. Yeah. Under the input parameters, you just copy in the input parameter, right? Here in the input parameters. Yeah. You need to copy the TXL path and paste it here uh, with uh, the name of the Excel. You can take it from that automation. No, no, here the, it will be two slashes, uh, Tamil. Uh, you can just take it in that input field itself. Close, cancel this. Here, yeah, uh, here in the input field itself, so you can select it. And, yeah. Okay. Okay, once you've done this, the output parameter just to add a GPS node. Okay, save this. Okay, in the output parameter, you go, um, yeah. add a workbook path. Yeah. Type workbook. Workbook path. Yes. Okay. Fine. Then select the next string that we have added. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now click on enter. Enter it. Enter. Click on enter. Okay. No, sorry, the second string is here. The step name that we have added, right? Change it to create Excel file name variable.
get x and file name variable. Okay. Here in the input, same you add that path here. And no. Here you don't need to add a path, Tamil. Uh, you just uh, enter the term, um, Excel name. Instead. You just delete before strings. You copy, you paste it here. Paste it here. Okay. Just paste it. Okay, remove that uh, downloads. Yeah, the, from that slash, remove it. No, no, no. Yes, okay. Now, in an output parameter, add it as file name. File name and click on enter. Okay. Now, creating the variable in this form helps to use them in subsequent activities. That's uh, why we have created the variables in the sense. In a subsequent activity that we are going to uh, add a filter as well as reading a data within a given number range, right? For that, this variable will be most helpful. That's what we are adding the strings here in the second step of the automation. Okay. okay. Now, uh, click on that empty space. What you do, add one more component as open workbook. Yes. Mm, yes. Mm. Okay, click on that open workbook. Here in the workbook path, what you give? that uh, the first output parameter we are given right the workbook path you need to select that mm, the second one yes this is the first strings output okay this will specify the this will open the specific excel file that there we have given the path of that excel in the first string right yeah. while uh, choosing this output parameter in this open workbook, it will directly point out that Excel file and it will open that specific Excel file. Okay, that's what we are giving here. Okay, fine. Then to activate the workbook and the first worksheet, you have to add some more components. In the automation detail plan search for activate workbook and activate worksheet okay activate workbook and worksheet is new part yes add it uh, below to the open workbook hmm. okay here you select that file name hmm. that uh, second one is while selecting the file name uh it will give the expression so okay in the worksheet click on that worksheet but which sheet we are referring sheet one right uh go to your excel the uh, yes sheet one. Ah, yeah sheet one yeah just give the sheet one with the same uh, camel case of yes sheet okay Now save this. You can use the variables or hard coded values for now. If you are trying a different Excel, use the values. Okay. Now that the Excel sheet is open, you can apply filters, height columns, or get values from a range of cells, or add a new sheet and the copy. A range of values to the newly created sheets. Okay. What we are going to do in this now with the, with the components that we have added here, what we'll do, it will open the Excel instance and it will point out to the Excel instance by adding a create workbook uh, path variable that we have added a path. Next, 
it will point towards that excel in that second string once those excel has been identified it will open the workbook and it will activate the workbook then activate the worksheet these steps will be done within this components that we have added in this automation next in the next step what we are going to do we are going to apply a filters we can apply filters by hiding hide columns or get the values for a range of cells or add a new sheet a copy of range of values to the newly created sheets okay for that what you have to do tamil click on the empty space add a filter range component drag and drop it to the bottom yes okay now click on that filter range okay under the input parameters the date range where the filters need to be applied such as okay now go to the excel here where we have pointed that date name uh, date which cell a1 e11 correct a1 a1 or 2 so here are you going to take the order number or order date no no here we are going to take a expert delivery date within the date range only we are going to do the filter activities okay, okay. Yeah. for that what we do we have to give the exact cell name then it will take the exact cell name and it will do the filter operations uh, what we do a okay go to e11 e11 is which one okay a1 a1 is postponed. We want Okay. That is A2, right? That is A2. A1 is order number. Okay. But here what they have given us A1 E11. Okay. Okay. In that uh, date. Uh, in that range definition, right? I mean, getting can you go to that? Uh, yeah, a a one colon eleven. Just give for now. Then we will change it uh, later. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Then what you do in this uh, filtering column? Add a column as B. And the column must be hmm. uh, here that the uh, criteria give us uh, 10,000. It's one lakh, right? Two oh, it's 10,000. Yes. Okay. How many zeros? Two, four, six zeros. Lesser than six zeros. Add a, add a lesser than before. Before to that. Hmm. You have That's added nice. four zeros. Add two more zeros. Any space between the. No, no, not not needed. Not needed. Okay, fine. So one million. One million is. You add a new Excel sheet to your book and copy the filter data. And okay, fine. What we are doing to do, we are going to add a new Excel sheet on our workbook and we copy the filter data onto the just for demonstration purpose. Okay. Um, subsequently, add a high columns. What you do here, Tamil, click on the empty space. We are going to hide some of the columns in the Excel. Yeah. Uh, add for search for height columns. Hmm. 
drag and drop it next to the to filter range. Yes. Yeah. Click on that. Okay. Here in the range reference Q C1. C should be caps. Ah, yes. C. okay this will give a new filtered columns of data right um, we have added a filter range as well as we have added the columns by that you will get a new range of data for that what we will be do here we are going to add one more worksheet here we are copying those filtered data to the worksheet for that what we are do Click on that empty space and add worksheet. Search for add worksheet component. Click on that worksheet. Name it as result. In worksheet name. Here in the input parameters. Not here. Not here. Under the input parameters. Not here. Not there. Tamil, not in the step name. Yeah. Yeah. Emitters result. Okay. Yeah. Fine, right? Now click on save. Yeah, okay. It's now uh click on that uh now search for activate worksheet activate worksheet hyphen two okay it will come yeah drop it there yes okay now click on that Okay, now give sheet one in the under the input parameters. Yeah, sheet one. Okay. Yeah. Fine. This is fine. We have activated the worksheet as well. Now we are going to add a copy range. Click on the empty space and add for copy range and search for copy range drag and drop it there yes here we have to give the range in the range definition give a1 colon a11 in the destination yeah. range give a1 value is a1 destination worksheet result hmm. this is the worksheet name which we have defined there right and in yeah. the destination workbook right there is one more okay give us file name the third yes that choose that yes fine okay now save that no add save okay these are all fine we have to add a we have to save this workbook right for that add save as workbook component okay i think this is very interesting save as workbook there are two options right save as workbook okay okay under the workbook only you have to choose that oh save as workbook this is save okay this is save under yeah you have to choose that save as workbook mm. yes click on that you just give the path here i mean okay where you can take the path means scroll up I will tell you where I can. Not, not this part. 
the folder path. So Go to the, thing, the first thing you have added, right? No, no, in, yeah. it, it's in the automation itself. In the first thing, the path we have given. Yeah, take this path. So here without okay. that, uh, so it's just right? Uh, no, actually, no, no, with the file name and the extension. Okay, so just click on enter. Yeah. No, it no, paste it. Okay. Without pressing enter, if you are taking away, it's not caps to the box. Yeah, oh, now okay. it's caps. Fine. Here yeah, the option to save workbook as an Excel or CSV in order to save a new uh, new CSV file into the file path to CSV file. This format will be folder name was file without actions and okay. Now we add a close Excel instance. Okay. Okay, now save this and test it. Okay, what was the error? Save as connect access. Are you doing documents? Okay, so are you doing it? Mm -hmm. Okay, just close this at uh, Okay. okay. Close that Excel as well. Uh, close it. Close it. Now click on test. Okay. Now open the Excel where the Excel is open. First open. Okay. Now open the Excel. Go to the sales order in your downloads. Uh, open that. Can you see that uh, result is added right in the sheet? Yeah, right. Mm, open that result sheet. It has data as well. For the given range of data, it has added the data here. Okay. But what we have lost the original data, right? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? So we have lost the original data. Right? We have not lost that original data, right? Okay, go to the so sheet one. Here we are having the three five columns, mm -hmm. but in the original, uh, the initial format which I have created, we had uh, six columns. Okay, so which column is missed? Yeah, I think that was hided. Yeah, it was yeah, hided. we have hided that. Yeah, yeah column. So. What column we have hided? Can it go there? Oh, the column. Can ah. it go there? Yes, yes, yes. So that's what hided. So that it has been okay. Okay, fine. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, here it's there. Okay, order data. Yes, okay. This is fine. Okay, at the end it will be hided. Fine. Then we will get this result. Yeah. This is what uh, the Excel. We can play around the data here if you want to give more. What you can see the range as well as if you want to copy one or more thing, then you can do it here. And you can paste it in a, a number of Excel sheets. Okay. Uh, guys, you have any doubt in this? This is a very, very important topic, guys. That's what I have taken here because you need to know what are the components you need to add in an Excel sheet. Then only you can do it in a real time. Okay, now we are going to do the same uh, as a lab activity. 
Okay, here you have to choose the agent with clear selected drop down three yeah. point two. Look. Okay, confirm. Name it as Excel automation. Uh, Excel automation SDK. SDK. Okay. Okay. Have you created that Excel file first? No. Okay. Open, create one Excel file in downloads or any folder. And what will be the name? Yeah, just to give us sales order data. Save as sales order data. Hmm. Yeah, save it. Choose location. Click on no no no. Click on browse. Okay. Hmm. There is yeah downloads. Ah, save it. Okay. And sheet name? Sheet name is fine. Sheet one. Okay. I close this. Hmm. Close this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what you will do once this uh, Excel has been done oh, in an automation search for open excel instance okay in the right side right side yes in the search search for open, open excel instance open excel okay yeah drag and drop it next to the start okay mm. hmm. okay this is the first step and the neg I click on that empty space. Mm -hmm. Search for Excel Cloud Link. Excel Cloud. Just give me a moment. Excel. Excel Cloud Link. Yes. Below Dragon. this. Below this. Okay. Oh. Click on Excel, Excel Cloud Link. Okay. Ah, yes. Drag and drop it below to that uh, open Excel instance structure. Okay. Okay, now select that Excel Cloud link. You would see the two screens there. Okay. Okay, scroll down. Mm -hmm. Edit activity. Click on the edit activity. Yeah. Here, in that, click on browse. No, no, here there, you can see the two screens, right? One is this Excel one. Excel. Yes, correct. Yeah. Downloads. Go to downloads mm -hmm. and point that uh, Excel. sales order data. data. Yes, open it. Mm -hmm. mm. Now scroll down. Okay. Okay, here in that work path, you have to give the exact path. Okay, in the work path. Okay. Asha, can you go to that folder? We will take that part. Hmm. Go to downloads. Yeah. Download. Uh, we'll right click on that uh, sales order data Excel. Right click. Properties. Properties. Yes. Properties. Mm -hmm. This location. Uh, yes. Or you can go to the security. Go to security. Yeah. Uh, here there is an object name, right? Copy that object name. Object with name with path in the first. No, no, no. This? not that one. The above, above system, above, above system. Above. Yes. Above system, you have an, object, an option. This object one, I did. No, 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 no. Above system. Below security uh, option. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah, this whole path copied. Mm -hmm. Has to paste it in the notepad. Then you can paste it in the work, work, work path. Open a notepad first. Paste it here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now copy and paste it there in the work path. Where were we? Activity. Scroll down. Scroll down. No, no. In the Excel, choose that Excel Cloud link. Excel. Okay. Scroll down. You could see the edit, edit activity. activity. Right. 
Yes, scroll down. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, you need to scroll up. Scroll up. Hmm. Paste it in that uh, workbook path. Okay. 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 Now click on enter. Click on the enter uh, button. Okay. Okay. This is done, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what you do? We are going to create a data type. With the, with the data type only, that output will come. Okay, based on the data type. Mm -hmm. Now, in the, there is a two screens. One screen is Excel file and the data type uh, data type screen, right? In that, you could see in the highlighted text from Excel data. Let's yeah. Okay. Click on that from Excel data. Mm -hmm. Give us sales orders. Sales. With you can give underscore underscore orders, sales underscore orders. Okay. Okay. Create. Mm -hmm. Fine. Now this will automatically create it based on the Excel data. Okay, you don't need to add anything here. Okay. Now go to the Excel automation SDK, the previous tab. Mm -hmm. So, like the name we have given, it should be same as our Excel. No, like no. no, it will automatically create that. Uh, no, no, new. no. That the data type is fine. You can give any name. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, in the output parameter, you have to point out that sales or uh, the para data type name. Here in the output parameter, it's a returned values, right? Mm -hmm. the, Decline that uh, click on that uh, cross. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yes, yeah, sales underscore orders. Okay. okay, now click on enter. Okay. Just give me a moment. I'm just trying to say yes. underscore orders. It will search automatically or do I need to mention something? Uh, sorry, actually, what you're asking? Uh, it will search automatically, or do I need to mention that sales underscore order or something like that? Yeah, sales underscore orders you should mention in that output parameters. Uh, okay, sales underscore orders. Okay. First, you have you created a data type? Yes. Okay. Uh, once you created a data type, it will show what are all the Excel <laughs> that column name. Have you show? Have you seen that the column names? Uh, column name, can I share my screen for a moment? Hmm. Sure. Yeah. See here, I have created this. Okay. Sales order underscore AG, right? Okay. Go to the Excel automation underscore AG. Oh, here. Now, here in this, you should give that a sales order underscore AG. Okay. The same, the same. that you have given. Okay. Same data type name. Okay. Got it. Now, okay. Here. Okay. Here is the workbook where you have not done anything. In the workbook, you need to. So I have given the path. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Now save this. Save this. Save it. Okay. Fine. After you can share this. After now, what we are going to do, since that mm -hmm. Excel has multiple data, right? So that we are going to add a for each loop. Okay. Once this for mm -hmm. each loop will be added, just we are going to log the messages in a console, directly in a console. For that, uh, what you have to do, click on the empty space. Mm -hmm. Okay. And search for for each in the right side, Excel Cloud, right? Yes, mm -hmm. the same search for for each. Okay. Mm -hmm. Drag and drop it next to that Excel Cloud link. OK. Now, I click on that for each. OK. Here, what you have to do uh, in that uh, set uh, looping list, right? Mm -hmm. In that, uh, give that uh, sales orders. Um, okay. OK. What you have to view sales underscore orders. Yeah, I've selected. Okay, you have selected that, right? 
Gane, sorry, Akshat, you have selected the right? Data, right. yes, yes. Yeah. Data type unit is selected. Huh? That sales underscore okay. is what? Data type only? Data type, yes, the data type. Okay, okay. Yes, I have selected it. You have selected it, right? Okay. Fine. Yes. Now, click on the empty space. Uh, okay. Mm. Now, so shall we save it? Ah, oh, yeah, save it, save it. Okay. Search for log message. Okay. Drag and drop it inside that for loop. Yeah. Okay. Now click on that log message. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we have to give some of the expression. Okay. For that, what mm -hmm. you do, go to that messages in an input parameter. Yeah. Open that mm -hmm. editor. Open that editor. So there okay. is a, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Edit expression. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now click enter. Enter it. Just click on enter. You should I've see something. I've clicked enter. Okay, now now um, add a space. Okay. Now give control control plus space. Okay. Oh, what control space? Yeah, control plus space. Okay. Here, scroll down. You will mm -hmm. get a suggestions. Okay, scroll down in the suggestion. Step three, scroll down. Mm -hmm. Current member dot order number is there, right? Yeah. Current that member order number, number. number. Okay. Yeah. Current okay. member dot order number. Now save this expression. Okay. Current member order number. Okay. Mm -hmm. Order number save. we need to select. Huh? Yeah, order number, yes. Yeah, okay, one selected. Minute. We press oh, control so. space, right? Oh. Save it, right? Yes, yeah, save it. What has to? Mm -hmm. uh, we pressed control space now to get those expressions. Oh, yes, yes. Control plus space. If you okay. click on that control space, space, you will get the suggestions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, here you have to close the Excel instance. Okay, just we are going, we are reading the Excel instance. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so for close Excel instance. Step mm -hmm. name you to mention oh, close. Close. Need to search for it. Okay. Need uh, to search this, for close. This yes. one. Mm. Uh, why yeah, it's coming as close only? No, 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 no. Have you, you have changed the name? Okay. Oh. <laughs> no problem. What was the name here? <laughs> uh, it was the name as log order number. Okay. This close Excel instance should be as uh, below to that for each. You have to uh, add it below to that for each. Okay. Okay. Before the instance, hmm. okay. Okay, Fine. So, where do we need to add this? Above to that for uh, sorry, above to that end, below to that for okay. Just give me a moment, hmm. yeah. Okay, add it. Okay, now click on save. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Now run this, test this. There is a play button in the left yeah. side. Test it. Mm, okay. Excel. Okay. Yeah, you have to close the Excel uh, stuff before. Okay. Before testing it, please close the Excel. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Now the log number is hmm. 
Yeah, I got this, but it didn't open any Excel. The testing file. session success. Yeah, I got the same thing, but it didn't open any Excel file. Yeah. Same for me also. Okay, 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 fine. What we have to do, it will not open that Excel file. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It will log the order number. Okay. Something Should we check have. there? Okay, go to the test console of 10. There is a test console. No, 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 not here. In the console itself, it will log. Go to the test console of yes. Okay. Uh, you could test see the console. order number is printed here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that what we have given in that edit expression in the for each loop, the log message. You can see in the log message edit expression. What mm -hmm. we have given there, just we have. Uh, order number is and we have pointed out that order number yeah go to okay. the log order number yeah yes, yes. open order o open the edit editor open the editor mm -hmm. see order number is current member dot order number just it will print this order number in the console, console. Okay. okay yeah mm -hmm. this is the first step okay now what we are going to do in the next step can you go to the next step? Uh, yeah. Now what we are going to do in the next step, just we are going to process the Excel data and we are going to add a date range and filter out the data, hide the columns. We are going to uh, save the filtered data in a new worksheet. Mm -hmm. Okay, these activities and we are going to do in the next step. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For that, what you do, Ashna, uh, everyone, uh, create another one automation. Go to overview and create another one automation. OK. Click on create. Automation. Automation. Mm -hmm. yeah, name, it, name it as uh, process Excel data. OK. Create it. Yeah. Okay. You have added a, hmm, one more automation as process Excel data, right? Okay. Right. Fine. Yeah. You have what you do to uh, add open Close. Excel instance. Search for open Excel instance. Sorry, I was not able to hear. Please come again. Open Excel instance. Search for open Excel instance. Okay. Yeah. Start. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, you, now what you have to do? Hmm, search for string. Click on the empty space and search for string. Okay. okay. Add two strings. Scroll down the data types. Yeah, under the data types, you would find the strings, right? Yeah. Add two strings there below to that. Hmm. Okay. Now click on the uh, create string variable, the first one. Mm -hmm. hmm. What you do? Uh, name it as create workbook path variable. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now click on that. Uh, click on the first string. Mm -hmm. okay. We need to add an input parameter. Okay. In the input parameter, what you do? Copy the path from that before automation then in the Excel automation, right? This mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can directly copy the path from that uh, previous automation. That's not that. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, click on that Excel Cloud link. Not yet. Excel Cloud link. Okay. Mm. Mm, here, go to that uh, open uh, activity editor. Scroll down. Mm, edit activity. Mm -hmm. In the workbook, you could find that mm -hmm. path, right? Yeah. Copy that part. Uh, 
this one. Yes. Now here it will okay. Copy it, we will change it there. Yeah, copy and cancel it. Go to mm -hmm. the dot. Okay. Hmm. So here okay. we have to give okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay, click on check. Click on what? No, here in this uh, bottom, there is a save expression and check is there, right? Click on check. Okay. It should be green. Okay, fine. Now click on save. Or me, it is giving an error. This giving a moment. Okay. What error, Axel? Oh, it is in red state. It is not in green. Okay, your string. Uh, Axel, uh, have you given the strings? Insert quotes, you need to give it. Quotes, okay, just give me. Uh, otherwise, it will give red only. But I didn't give quotes. No, no, you click on editor, you can yeah, yeah, yeah. see that code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine now. Thanks. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, save expression, mm -hmm. right? Yes, save expression. Okay. Okay. This is fine. And in the output parameters, uh, click on the in the output parameters, scroll down, Ashtu. Mm -hmm. You have to give that uh, workbook path. Just to give us workbook path. Delete this. Like that. Workbook path. Workbook. Like work. I have to write book. Yes. You have to put Workbook path. Okay. Or book path, yes. Don't give space, just to write this one. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Our book you... underscore path. Underscore yeah. is also fine. Uh, you can just uh, um, concatenate what book path. Yeah, that, is, uh, that is also fine, yes. Okay, okay just one word we can give. Huh? Okay. Mm, okay. okay. Our book path, okay. Then click on that second auto, uh, second string that you have added. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now name it as create Excel file name. Create Excel file name variable. Okay. Okay. In an input parameter, mm -hmm. what you do, just copy that Excel name with the extension. Go to okay. the first uh, string. Go to the first string. Not here, Astra. The first string. Before, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't need to give the entire path. You copy only that uh, name of the Excel and the extension. <laughs> the last. Yeah. Hmm. Copy it. Mm -hmm. Paste it here. Yeah, in the quotes. Mm. Okay. Yes, yes. Now check it. No. Where Wait. do we need to give this? That's all. In the uh, input, input value. Input yeah. value. Okay. In the quotes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. In an output parameter, just mm -hmm. you type for first name. In a single word, as a single word, type it as a file name. File name. Mm, file yeah. name. Yes. Okay. Click on enter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now it has taken. Save. Right? Yeah, yeah, save. Mm -hmm. hmm. Now we have given the path of that Excel in the first string, and we have pointed out that the Excel as well in the second string, and here we are given the input uh, output parameters for that. In the next step, what we are going to do, mm -hmm. hmm, we are going to do a open workbook. Okay, this open workbook component will open that. Okay, now sorry. No, yeah, after click on this uh, empty space, yeah, click there mm -hmm. and search for open workbook. Oh. 
Open workbook, right? Okay. Scroll down, not this one. Under Open the word. Hmm. Yeah. Below to that, yes. In that open workbook, what you have to do, you choose that workbook path, the first strings output parameter. Go to that workbook path, yeah. Click on that. Hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. My Why it's so showing as my variable for you? Go to that first. Uh, not um, here. Hmm. Not here. In the in the component, choose the second one. Second. Uh, one. I think she has not saved hmm. before adding this. Or she saved. Really? Save what? No, after creating the second variable, have you saved the data? No, no, no. Which? No problem. Go to that second yeah. step first. Huh? Here, below to that open Excel. Yes, click on that. Click on mm -hmm. that. No, no, no. Below to that open Excel instance, there is a create what put part variable, right? The second component, the center of the screen. Center of uh, the screen. The left side, yeah. Above this one. Oh. Okay. Go to the output parameter. What output parameter you have given here? Yeah. My this, way. Not mm -hmm. yeah. Delete this. Delete this. Mm -hmm. And it has a workbook path. A single word, workbook path. Oh. Okay. Now click on enter and save it. Okay. Okay. Now go to that open workbook, the fourth component. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now in that workbook path, hmm. select it. Select it. Select Click it. on this. Yeah. Click on mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Workbook path. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is fine. Save it. Yeah. Save it. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Now, what we have to do in the next step, we need to activate that workbook. Okay, activate that workbook as well as the workbook. Or oh, sorry, as well as the worksheet. Mm -hmm. For that, we have to do click on the empty space and search mm -hmm. for activate workbook. Yes, this is worksheet workbook. You have to search. Scroll down. Okay. Activate workbook, I'm not getting. Yeah, here you have. Oh, it's there. It's there. This is the one. Yeah. Yes, sir. One. Okay. Okay. Now I had one more uh, component as activate worksheet. Not, not, uh, yeah, worksheet. Correct. Correct. Yeah, yes, correct. Mm -hmm. okay. Now click on that activate workbook. Mm -hmm. And in the input parameter, okay, the input parameter of the workbook name, right? Choose that file name. Mm, file name. Okay. Okay, now save it. Mm -hmm. Okay, now go to the worksheet name. Okay. Yeah, now what you have to do, you have to go to your Excel and see what the sheet name there. Sheet one. Yeah. Copy and paste it there. Okay. Okay. You can select anyone, anything, anyone that the sheet one with highlighted codes. Okay. Uh, no. Is this okay? Uh, copy. No, no, don't say. Uh, again, pasted that. Uh, yeah. yeah. First. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fine. Here we have done this. Now, within this sheet, what was the sheet that we have mentioned, right? In the workbook, we are going to filter some of the uh, ranges. Okay. For that, uh, what you have to do, you need to add a component as filter range. Click on the empty space and search for filter range. Mm 
You have given this in quotes. Can you just open the editor for this range definition? Mm, no, I'm not used to. Okay, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. In the filtering columns, we are mentioning that uh, filter out the B column. Okay. Just give us B caps caps B. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. Here. in that filter condition right criteria 1 hmm criteria 1 what we have to do lesser than array lesser than symbol okay yeah. hmm you can add as uh, 1 million 160s 160s okay now click on enter or select that uh, suggestion sir yeah. yeah okay now save it Okay, this is fine, right? Yeah. So, what exactly are we doing here? Like this criteria one. Criteria? Yeah, what we are doing here, we are just mm -hmm. filtering. Huh? Yes, we are filtering the range values from A one to E eleven. Okay, if we go okay. to the. Okay. Uh, should I go to that Excel? Yes. Open that Excel. Mm -hmm. Where is that A one? Uh, the order number is mm -hmm. A one. Okay, A one to E eleven. No, 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 don't, don't. Not a panacea. Sorry, A one to E eleven. Should I select it? E eleven is that the last? Yes. 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 Okay, this is the we are filter outing these values. Okay, mm -hmm. but okay. in the based of the condition B, in a okay, can you go? Can we scroll up a little bit? Scroll up here. Order amount is the condition B. We are filtering these values. Okay, less than one million. Yeah. Okay, that's the condition we have added there. You got it right, Ashna. 
Okay, now say now don't save it. Just click on close. I think some of the values is changed. Yeah. Don't okay. save. Don't. Yeah. yeah. Now here uh, we are going to yes yeah. Asta, can you just click on the activate worksheet? This one. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sheet one. Okay. All right. Okay. And we are going to do another one activity. What we are going to do? Just we are going to hide a column in an output of the filter okay in a sheet one itself that is an option mm -hmm. to hide a column for that okay. part you have to add the component name is hide hide, hide columns uh, uh, like this filter range is complete right no filter range is completed okay That's now right. i'll search for hide hide columns okay Okay, here column we are going to hide it. Column C1, C1. Yeah. One. Hmm. Okay, yes. Now save it. Okay. Okay. Now these results and I'll write these filtered results. We are going to add it in a new worksheet okay you got it right Astra. Yeah, yeah yeah okay yes, yeah. Worksheet. we are going to add one more worksheet here we are mm -hmm. going to save it in that new worksheet okay, okay. for that what you have to do add mm, worksheet. Uh, yes add worksheet component there add worksheet yeah add worksheet in the why group. sometimes it comes like this? just uh, zoom out it will come like this. yeah uh, we have to mention the worksheet name then only it will that uh, no 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 be... i think this is not he added add a worksheet yes now it's yeah. there okay on that uh, mm -hmm. name this worksheet as a result Not 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 this one, not this one. The worksheet name. Oh, not the step name. The worksheet. The worksheet oh. name. The below. Below. Under the input parameters. Now what you do? Uh, add one more component as activate worksheet. <laughs> yes. Okay. Now, so is this one fine? From file? From file? No, no, no. Just give that uh, accurate worksheet alone. From file, you de delete it and uh, add the component. Crawl down. Yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah, last one. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. okay. Now click on that. Mm -hmm. What you should use? Sheet one. The same name of the first. New sheet one. No, no new sheet one. Sheet one, just a new, just a sheet one. You can refer the task of screen. Sheet one. Is this open? Mm, oh. No, it should be. Yeah, you should not select it. Uh, click. Yeah, click. Delete. Delete the sheet one. Delete the sheet one. No, not no, happening. Now, now I type sheet. Sheet. You. Without the space, right? Mm, yes, without space. In the quotes, this one? Yeah, yeah first one. Select, select that. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, what we are going to do those things, what are the uh, results that we are going to copy in that sheet one means we are to give that range. Okay. But I have to add one more component as copy range. drag and drop it below to that okay click on that copy range in the range definition 
ए वन कोलन ए लेवन जो डोंट सेलेक्ट इन द सजेशन जस्ट गिव रिजल्ट ओके टाइप इट ओके इन कॉपी रेंज व्हाट वे हैव टू गिव ए वन टू ए वन टू ए लेवन ये ये वन कोलन ये लेवन ओके ओके यार सर गट डेस्टिनेशन रेंज इस ये वन ये वन हम्म ओके सर द फर्स्ट वन सर द फर्स्ट डेस्टिनेशन वर्कशीट इस रिजल्ट रिजल्ट हम्म रिजल्ट जस्ट रिजल्ट हम्म ओके Scroll down. The destination workbook is file name. You can choose that. Uh, yeah, file name. Workbook okay. is file. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. This is fine. Then file save okay. uh, file name. Yes. You can choose from that uh, suggestions. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Save it. Mm. Okay. Save it, Asta. Yeah, saved. Okay. Now click on the empty space and. Add one more component as save as workbook. Save as workbook. Hmm. Copy and paste it below to the no, not that one. Yeah, save as is correct. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Click on that. File path. File path is which one? You have to give that exact path. You can take it from the second uh, string. Not yet. Not in this automation itself. If you scroll up as yes, the in this, you could yeah take this. The whole part, this this one, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay. Copy it and uh, paste it there. Mm -hmm. Don't paste it in a editor or something because it has two co codes, right? You no, I've, I've not selected two one. I've selected a single one. Others, do we need to change the file name here? No, no need to change. Asher can paste it here within the double quotes. Here is showing the four. Right and paste it. Okay. Here. Fine. You can check. Save that. Hmm. Okay. Add close Excel instance. Okay. Close. Okay. Mm. Close the Excel instance. Okay. Mm. Okay. Add it to that. Okay. Now that's Save. it. Mm. Save it. If you have opened the Excel, please close the Excel. It's not working. Okay. Now mm. best. best. Mm. Now I'll trigger it. Mm. So we have to provide the name sheet one. No need to provide the sheet one. Okay, why it's asking for you sheet uh, one? This thing session has failed. Please define an active bubble before using this activity. Can you cancel this as well. Mm -hmm. Where you ask? Where you have given the sheet one? Open oh, oh, no. it. No, it uh, sheet one. Scroll down. Mm -hmm. mm, scroll down. It's working fine for me. For you, but you can't see the result as well, right? Uh, in that uh, Excel. Excel. Oh, yes. yes. Okay. Scroll mm -hmm. down, Astra. Mm -hmm. Okay. Activate worksheet. Can you open that activate worksheet too? Uh. Here it's sheet one. Can you delete and uh, type it one more on time more? Oh, what should I delete? Mm, delete that sheet one in the input parameter. In, no, 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 in this. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, select that the first uh, suggestion, Master. Okay. Okay, sheet one. Now it's already saved. Saved. Okay. Open that editor. Mm -hmm. 
This is correct. Click on check. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Cancel it. Mm -hmm. Okay, copy the range. Call, go to copy range. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, go to save as workbook. Okay, there, there we will not give you any sheet. Okay, fine. I think it should be there in the in the initial steps only, no? because initially only it's taking the it's asking for the sheet. Mm, should be no. somewhere here. Okay, click on that to open workbook first to open workbook. Not here. Yeah, for me it is successful now. What did you change? It was giving me an error, but now it is successful for me. Let me check the Excel. Yeah, yeah, I got the result as well. Hello, guys, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, Adash. Okay, cancel this. Mm -hmm. After can you open that uh, fourth component? Yes, here. Okay, go to the fifth component. Okay. It's a file name or book name is fine. Fine. Okay, the activate worksheet. Mm -hmm. Can you delete and uh, yeah, create that worksheet one? Uh -huh. Delete it just to give sheet one. Save it. No, here, what you have mentioned in that um, Excel, it's a capital S or a camel case of S or what? Can you open that Excel? Should be, should be it should be in caps. Yeah. It should be in capital, yeah. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. Okay. Now first set the questions. Now okay. Now save it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now run the automation. We'll check. Okay. It's asking for this. Okay. Where it's asking? Why input parameter is coming? It is not coming from me. Mm -hmm. That's what this. Parameter sheet room. It's asking for the input. Hmm. No. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Mm, here in the active worksheet only. It's uh, okay. Can you add a breakpoint here in the six? Okay. Um, How you can add a breakpoint in the sense? Before there is a six, there is a letter in the six in the component of six. You having a letter, uh, yeah. Yeah, there is checkbox. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, now try to run it. We should check where it's asking. Okay. Mm -hmm. Before is that, it, then it stopped in the breakpoint. No, I should cancel it. Cancel it once again. Mm -hmm. uh, cancel it. Remove the breakpoint. Mm -hmm. You no know, need to add a breakpoint. I think for you. Uh, Is there something wrong with the Excel? Mm -hmm. Can you click on that uh, debugger icon? This one? Mm. Mm. Click that. Okay, again click it. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
excel automation but it showing can you scroll down in this left okay. side left side left left it pointing out that uh, excel automation is dk only okay can you close the excel automation is dk i underscore a okay okay now refresh this page whole this page. one whole page refresh it whole page hmm. okay now click on test again it's asking for sheet one now okay cancel. can we try to remove this uh, uh... Can you click on cancel this uh, open a worksheet? No, this, this one. one. No, not this one. Sixth one. Active worksheet and try to open that. Try to what? Like we can replace this one with the new one, right? If we, if we can delete this one and add a new activate worksheet. Okay, what task is it to delete this activate worksheet? Yes. Yeah. And add one more, the new one here from worksheet, the last, the last one, the last one. Yeah. Yeah, here it's there. Now here, just give the sheet one in caps. Yeah, save it. Let's save. And try to test it now. Works. Still, still, it's a problem. Is before that okay? Wherever we have given the sheet one, we have to check it in the input parameter somewhere. We have given the sheet one, though somewhere the parameters no sales order data. Wait. Okay, go to activate worksheet. Here, sheet and okay. Next step. Oh, next step. Go to filter range. It's just fine. Right columns is even. Result goes to add worksheet. Yeah, here this it is. is also fine. Sheet one here. Right, mm -hmm. well, I think it is asking for the output. Yes, or it is. Yeah, last one. Okay, save as a book. Close excellence. Sounds okay, everything seems good only. No problem. <clears throat> what you do, Ashna? Uh, yeah, uh, can you delete the tag with worksheet once? Can you delete it? Ah, we will check. Uh, delete it for now. Okay. Now click on test. Now save contest this. I think oh. it's stuck here. Only. Can you just pass some value here? Let me just. One. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Let's pass it. Let's test. Yeah. Yeah. Now can you go to the Excel? Yeah. Go to the result. First sheet. First sheet. Yeah. Now, okay. now I get the values. Okay. But why you are getting that sheet one? That we have to check it. So I think uh, by but mistake, I think the input not. parameter was selected somewhere. So we need to mm. check. And I think it was mandatory, so that's the reason it was showing. So even after deleting that activate worksheet, it's working. So we need to add it here that we deleted now activate worksheet. Yeah, we had deleted that activate worksheet component, right? Yeah. Okay, still it's working. Yeah. 
Okay, add it now. Sheet one. Save it. Okay. Test. Mm, test it. Just please contest. Test it. Test session failed. Please check the console for module close. You can check. You cannot test. Okay, open the two uh, workbook. Uh, so already okay. the result is created. That's why it's showing. Oh, That's what okay. it's showing. Yes, yes. yes. So yes. should we also not add some delete from comment here? So that the next time it just runs, it automatically gets deleted from it. Yeah, you, uh, okay, you have to first delete it, then only you can run it. Yeah, right. like before re launching it, it should get deleted. Okay, it should get deleted. Then we have to de add a delete worksheet. Delete, yeah, but my issue is different. That's yes, it's different, yes. Okay.